Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Layla and this is the Just SB family. Here we're going to do planner videos, Louis Vuitton items, um, plan with me, setups, anything planner related, anything Louis Vuitton related, that's my thing. Um, I have my Louis Vuitton PM agenda here. I have it on my channel. There is a flip through there, so I'll try and link that video down below. But the rings in here are very tiny. If you're not familiar with that, this is the smallest agenda, so the rings are extremely 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 small um, they are only and those of you that are coming back to my channel you know that I recently got a uh, new camera so please bear with me as I learn how to use it <laughs> and learn how to keep things in frame but these rings are the ones that come standard with the Louis Vuitton agenda they're very very tiny they're only nine millimeter um, and so with that being said it's a lot harder to get as much as what you need in this tiny agenda so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and switch out um, the rings in here I did purchase some 16 millimeter cross rings um, I did get these from the Gilio website in the gold color um, these rings are 16 millimeters so they are a lot bigger in diameter so they can hold a lot more papers a lot more inserts so the plan here is to put them in and if you're not familiar with the inside of the Louis Vuitton agenda where the rings are, um, there is a tiny, tiny little clasp here that holds the rings on. It doesn't look like that's focusing. Okay, right there is a tiny, tiny holder that holds the rings in and it's on both sides so all you have to do to get the rings off is merely lift up the tab it doesn't matter if it's the bottom or the top but lift up the tab and then just slide the rings out i bought my agenda pre-loved off a of louis vuitton face group so i'm sure under here is some you know icky stuff and over time it needs to be cleaned anyway um so i'm going to clean that um once I remove the rings and then I'm going to uh, place down the new rings. So again, uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Layla. I will be making videos um, here on the channel about things that are planner related, Louis Vuitton related, um, <clears throat> just anything kind of lifestyle fun stuff. I may even come on here and just kind of do some chit chatting. So it's been a long time since I removed some rings. I had a mono agenda in the past and I quickly learned how tiny the rings were. And so I uh, upgraded to some Gilio rings and then I kind of switched planner sizes like you know most of us do. I switched to a different planner size and when I did that, um, I actually ended up letting my mom use that planner for some time. So she has both the planner with those rings in it. So bear with me, it's been a while since I did this, not to mention I am being adventurous with my fingernails. If you can't tell, they're not the same as normal in my videos. They're not natural with gel polish. I got quite the extensive length. This last time that I went um, to the nail salon, if you can see here, I'm trying to lift up this tab that is right in there. Um, and it's not super hard, but it's not super, super easy either. Um, but anywho, I wanted to kind of adventure with some longer nails just, you know, for a little while. Hadn't done it in a very long time, over five years to be exact. Um, I've been natural and gel polished for all of those five years. So it kind of had been a long time and I just really wanted to do something different. So I did. So, okay. So I'm beginning to get that to lift. So I want to kind of try and show you that as best I can. Um, again, if you're not new to the channel, <laughs> you're aware I got a new camera, so bear with me as I try to keep things in frame and understand where I need to be in order to keep them on there. And if you are new, I hope you decide to stay um, and join the Jess SB fam and uh, enjoy my channel. So again, I got the little piece up, and so what I'm trying to do is lift it just a little bit more, kind of straighten it out a little bit so that I can easily slide these rings from underneath it. Okay, perfect. So I was able to do that. So if you can see here, they are no longer attached to the planner. And I'm merely going to pull them off from the other side. Awesome, so this is what the planner looks like without the rings in it. 
completely naked of course if you wanted to switch it up and add some strings um, or do you know something different you could definitely do that um, but again it's just a little notch here and then a little notch here um, that holds it so I merely lifted one of them so that I could actually get those rings completely out and this is what they look like it's just kind of a flat back and then just kind of a try to show you here sorry a little little groove right in here which is where the little clasp on the planner um, here grabs onto and I forgot to bring my baby wipes closer to me so bear with me just a moment as I grab those Alrighty, so I'm just going to wipe off some of this gunk here. My planner, of course, is pretty, pretty old. This is the multicolor um, Louis Vuitton agenda that came out quite some time ago. So it is an older one, which is okay. Vintage is always wonderful. It's honestly some of my fave. So some of this stuff may not come off real well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the rings, um, the newer rings on, and then I may take them back off, off video, off camera, and just try to clean a little more. So again, I'm going to try to get closer here to show you this one here. I did not lift, so I am merely going to take the bottom part of the rings and put them underneath that groove there, like so. And then I'm going to make sure I center that well. So it does kind of rock a little bit. Okay. And then try to get it in on the other side. And then the job here, or the, the motive here, is merely just to actually bend that piece down. So actually, let me try to turn this sideways so that I can work on it. All right, so if I remember the first time, I was able to get it up with the flathead, but I really struggled to get it down. Um, the flathead was just really, really thin, and I had better luck using a house key, so I'm just going to do that here again. The metal here is just a little bit thicker, and so it's a little easier to actually push it down. So I'm going to just push that down. First, I'm going to struggle, of course. Uh, oh. It's really hard. I don't remember it being that hard. There we go. All right. Make sure I get it a little bit flatter so it doesn't come back up. So again, the motive is just to get this piece back flat the way that you found it before you pulled it up because, of course, this is what's holding the ring securely on here. So you want to make sure that it's holding that piece well. I'm probably struggling as much as I am because I'm not used to having the length that I have on these nails here. So bear with me. So it is on there and it is secure. That is not coming off at all. And so again, these are the larger 16 millimeter rings. The planner closed just fine. No issues at all. If you look here, you have way, way, way more um, diameter and space to put more things in there. The only negative to adding the 16 millimeter rings is when you put your pages in here it can push them over some so sometimes um, you have an issue with if you've had if you've added on a pin loop um, or if you've been using larger inserts than pockets some people kind of size them up in between um, a6 and pocket and they're a little bigger and so sometimes you may have to go back down to your true pocket size the other thing is um, it will push the inserts over to the size so that they come 
closer to the edge more than you are used to. And so you may notice you have to trim them a little bit or you have to um, stay away from side tabs depending on how far your tabs stick out or if it bothers you. Usually they'll go right to the edge without true hangover but depending on the type of side tabs that you have, they may truly hang over and you may want to switch to top tabs. My tabs are pretty tiny, so they should go just to the edge and be just fine. And um, I shouldn't have any issues there. And so again, this is the PM Agenda and I have switched out the rings. So these are the larger 16 millimeter cross rings. So you can see there that they are a lot larger than the original. I'll put them next to them so that you can see how that looks there and see major major difference it's almost doubled um, which is a large large difference so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was very helpful especially if you have a PM agenda and are interested in switching those rings out um, again for my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching another video for my new watchers I hope you enjoyed um, and hit that subscribe button and the turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified when I upload videos and again for those of you returning thank you so much for coming back and remember that I do have a new camera new setup trying to kind of figure things out so bear with me over the next few videos as I stumble across my words um, and anxiety and trying to kind of figure things out with the video but thank you so much for watching again hope you guys have a great day bye